Hey guys, this is Gaurav Sharma and today we're going to talk about Log4j. What it is, how bad is it, and what you should be doing to protect yourself. Um, Log4j is a open source, ubiquitous um, Apache logging framework or a logging library in a simple term used by Java. Even though Java is not a commonly used language today, it's not very popular today, but it's still out there and a lot of big companies or customers are still using the um, Java today, right? So it is, uh, what is it, right? So Log4j, um, there is a vulnerability that was found where an attacker, all they have to do is send a strategic malicious code string to the server and it will eventually get uh, logged by Log4j uh, library and which will allow the attacker to download uh, or load arbitrary Java code on the server and then be able to take control of the whole server. So, and, and the attacker could be unauthenticated um, and they'll have like complete um, control of the system. So it's pretty bad. Um, Kenna Security is scoring Log4j at a level of 93 out of 100, which is exceptionally rare. Um, out of 165,000 CVEs that Kenna has seen or reported, only 0.34% of it has been reported a score of 93 or higher. Um, the CVE score otherwise for this uh, vulnerability is 10. So you can, you can tell it's pretty bad. So what should you do to protect yourself? So Apache has already released an up, updated version of this library, uh, log4j 2.15. So if you know that you're running Java or if there is any dependency of log4j in your environment, it is highly recommended that you upgrade or patch your system to log4j 2.15. And from a Cisco standpoint, Cisco Talos has got all the information about uh, about this vulnerabilities. Cisco has already come out with the Snort IDs for that and um, already listed the domains, malicious domains that are relating to this log4j. Uh, so if you're running, uh, if you have Cisco Firewall, Next Gen Firewall, and for, and for Endpoint or Umbrella, then from a visibility standpoint, Cisco Talos has already got this information and it's feeding into those uh, systems. So if anything comes through uh, those systems or solutions, you our our systems are going to catch this information and block the uh, block the spread or then and there and report you about that as well. To to know more about it, I'm I'm going to post this link about uh, on this Talos. Uh, website about in the description so you can go through it there are IOCs listed there's uh, the information about the snort IDs uh, for snort 2 or snort 3 are all mentioned there so you can utilize those to protect yourself thank you very much